Hello and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at October 1st, 2024's German Whispers by Clover. Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so why? My name is Bill Murphy. It's my pleasure, nay, my honour to be solving this one for you today. Uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person uh, solving this. Um, we do a new puzzle every day. If you haven't met us before, that's lovely. Welcome. Uh, my name is Bill. Uh, for long-time uh, sufferers of uh, my voice, guess what, nerds? I've finally bought a microphone. <laughs> finally bought one. Uh, I caved in. Um, so expect for me to play around with that in the next few days and try and uh, perfectly nail my audio levels uh, in a way that hopefully makes sense. Um, but for you, you can solve this puzzle. Uh, this is in the description. There's hat times as well. Uh, two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, let's get into it. So, uh, this is a German Whispers puzzle by Clover. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, in each box, each row, and each column, uh, we must put the digits one, one to nine once each. Now, uh, the other super secret trick is we have some green lines in the grid. Now, these are German whisper lines, and along each green line, adjacent digits must have a difference of five or more. That's it. That's all you need to know to solve this puzzle. Um, what I would say is uh, give it a go. It's going to be pretty good. I haven't tested this one, which is Honestly, pretty cool for me. Um, so you're getting a almost blind solve from me. Um, I know some tricks about German Whispers that I'm more than happy to share with you. Uh, but I would recommend that you give this puzzle a go first. Uh, so you should do that. And meanwhile, I'm going to solve this. Uh, so let's get to it. So uh, because we can only have uh, up to the uh, number nine in a Sudoku, uh, Four must always be next to nine. Similarly, six must always be next to one. Uh, now, this is either six, seven, or eight, and that is either two, three, or four. We don't really know a lot about that. Um, but the next most restricted digit is uh, three and seven. So let's go have a look at those. So this three, uh, because I have a nine there, the only way that that can work is if I have an eight. This has to be an eight or a nine. Uh, seven needs to be next to a, uh, one or a two. Uh, this must be a one. This can either be a one or a two. Um, this two can either be next to seven, eight or nine, but that's an eight, nine pair. So that's pretty funky. What? Oh, nice. Uh, eight eliminated from there. Uh, so this two, seven, eight or nine, this can only be seven or eight. Um, I am trying to do the puzzle without colouring, but you never know. Um, oh, uh, da, 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 da. uh, do I have anything else? Uh, let's, can I do anything funky? Um, one, 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 one. all right, twos, two can go there, um, and, da, 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 da. oh, uh, where does eight go in the center box? That's pretty good. Um, eight can only go, uh, can only go there, which is pretty useful again. Um, this is a seven. Uh, oh, oh, what is that? Well, it can't be a one, because I got a one up there, so that's two. Uh, this is one, three, or four. It's not super helpful. Uh, six, seven... Oh, this can, uh, this cell here sees six, seven, and nine, so that has to be an eight. Uh, two, this can only be a three, because this has to have a difference of at least five, meaning it needs to see a one, two, or three. Uh, we have a two and a one there, which puts a three there, uh, meaning this has to be four or nine, and then this has to be... Well, it can't be four because it's, uh, wait, why did I say four or nine? What's wrong with me? Uh, eight or nine. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and now 
this digit uh, here needs to be a low digit, so from one, two, three, four. Um, so it can't be two or three, and if it was four, it would have a difference of four with this eight, so it needs to be a one. Um, am I doing this the hard way? Uh, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's been a long day. All right. Uh, six or seven goes there. That's pretty interesting because that means the only thing that this could be is one or two, uh, which means that's a one, two pair. Oh, um, seven in this box here in box five, seven can't go in those two cells because we have a seven there, putting a seven here, which puts a six and a one there, two there, takes the two out of that. Uh, this is now a three and a four. Uh, pair because we have a three and a four in the center box. This is also a three four pair. That's pretty funky uh, So this is well, uh, where does six go in column five? Well six can't go here Wait, six can't go there. So six goes here here nine and seven and that is the center box done uh, Two one of those two. So uh, all right uh, one two this is either three or four um, can I do anything funky with this? This is either three or four, so not really. Uh, uh, oh, that has to be either an eight or a nine. Oh, that's nice. That's an eight, nine pad that's sort of useful. Uh, one and six in box eight. We have a one and six here, which rules it out of those two cells. So this is a one and six. Uh, oh, we know which way that goes. Uh, now, this is a 4-5 pair, meaning that has to be the 3, that has to be a 4. It takes 4 out of there. Um, this is a 3 and a 5. A 1 here. Uh, 1, 2... Oh, next to an 8, can't have a 4, so that has to be a 3. Uh, 6, 7, and 9, I can't really do much with that right now anyway that's a two so that's a two and a seven in those two cells because that was a two seven pair uh that's um, that's either an eight or a nine that's fine i guess um and this is also an eight. Oh, yeah, nice okay i finally i see what's happening um so a three ha is the lowest that digit can be uh, with meaning this can either be an eight or a nine we have a nine in this box meaning this is a Eight, meaning that is nine, and this uh, undoes this because eight can't have a difference of five with four. Um, so that's nine, eight, that can't be four again, so that's three, and that's all of our German whispers done. Now, let's just crack on with our Sudoku logic. Uh, three, four, and, oh, uh, this is a two, five pair. Uh, I noticed that because I saw 3, 4, and 7, and I hadn't placed it in this box. Uh, so this is 3, 4, and 7. But where does 3 go? 3 has to go there. That's a 4. Uh, 4 and 7 left to place here. This is a 3 here. So that's 3, 5, 1, and 6. 1 down here tells me which way around that goes. Um, 4 and 7. See this cell down here. So that's a 6. I can't quite undo that, that's a 4, 7, that's a 4, 7, um, 4, 6, 4, 6 pair, um, what I'm doing right now is just scanning the grid for where do I have the most amount of information and can I save myself some time, yeah, so I've just looked down here, I have a 6, 7 in row 7, meaning that is a 4, so that's 7, 4, 7, 4, 7, uh, just one digit to place in column two, so that's a six, a five, an eight, a seven, uh, four, six, ah, oh, that's lovely, six there, um, four and six, five and four, eight, five, four, six, seven, and one final digit left to place. Uh, that's a nine. Um, so this has been German Whispers Sudoku by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy. Um, let me know if I should turn the RGB light off uh, for future records. But other than that, uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you next time. Cheers.